How did I achieve this beautiful hairstyle? Stay tuned and watch my video to learn how to do your hair just like this. Hey everyone, so I'm going to show you guys how I achieve my curly hairstyle with a step-by-step -step routine um so uh pretty much i use a few products one of them being this detangling milk and this is amazing because it really just makes the slip through when i comb out and detangle the curls more easier as you guys can see my hair is very very thick i would consider my hair along like maybe a 3c 4a although Someone has told me that I am a 3B, one of the hairstylists. So what I do is I section off the hair and periodically throughout this video, I'll try to show you guys my scalp since I do have really bad um, dry scalp. I have seborrheic derm dermatitis. So I'll try to see, um, hopefully you'll see it in the video, but if you don't see it, take my word, it is not great. But yeah, so I'm just sectioning my hair to make it easier, like even distribution with the detangling milk look at the look at those beautiful fresh curls right um so yeah i do about three pumps of this depending on how big the sections are two to three pumps and just evenly distribute it in my hair um i have learned that i'm actually supposed to do it from the middle to the ends because if you're too close to the roots it's actually gonna just make your scalp worse so you know don't follow what i did where i'm so close to the roots go from the middle to the ends and um i use a big teeth comb to help comb out the knots and the kinks and all that stuff and um i know it looks like i'm being rough but i'm, I'm not <laughs> my hair is just super thick and i do this to just detangle but then you'll see eventually that i'm going to use a denman brush to just make it more profound with the curls so yeah so now i am going to put a little bit more on the ends because my ends are super dry i need to go in to get like um, my hair done professionally because I probably need a trim and a treatment <laughs> so yeah I just put like one tiny little pump on the ends just to make sure that my hair is extra hydrated and as you can see um, it definitely is making a world of a difference my hair looks more moisturized so I'm just gonna do the same thing for all of the other sections that I separated So about right here, I'm looking and I'm seeing a dry spot. The camera doesn't do a good job of showing you guys, but trust me, it was super, super dry. Like I had to put something on there at some point later on in this video. Which I'm not sure if I recorded it, but I definitely had to put some kind of hydrating thing on, on that spot because it was so dry. Look at all this beautiful hair, guys. Look how beautiful and thick my hair is. Okay, guys, so here I am, and now the fun begins with making the curly hair, you know, a reality. So first, you want to section your hair, and you want to make sure that it's a good chunk of hair that you're working with. I'm not a fan of this size. So I want to make it a little bit smaller, because the size does matter with regards to the distribution of products and how you, you know twist it around to make it curly i like this size so i'm going to put the rest into um into a little bun so i can make sure that i have my hair out of my way as i work with my hair and the products that i'm going to use i'll show in a few it's the camilla rose butter gel and yep there it is camilla rose butter gel i love this my favorite product and the Lotta Body Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. This just locks in your hair for sure. I'm going to use the foaming mousse first, as you will see in a, in a second. But these two products, Chef's Kiss, my hair looks amazing. I tend to use about maybe one to two, maybe three pumps, depending on how dry my hair is, um, to distribute to my hair. 
and then I use like a little bit a little more than a dime size amount of the butter gel um, to lock in what I need my hair to do to keep that curliness and you'll see in a minute see that part of my hair was dry so I did three pumps and just start from the middle to the ends I was too close to the roots and that's not good for someone that has seborrheic dermatitis like myself so go from the middle to the ends um, but pretty much just, you know use that and then I use a wooden comb because um, my hair still felt like it had like a little bit of knots and kinks and apparently a wooden comb will help with preventing breakage I personally see the difference as well I'm going to use a Denman brush after I used the uh, the butter gel. So here's the butter gel. You see the amount that I used. Distribute it in your hair in an even way. Again, don't do what I did. Go from the middle to the ends. But um, yeah, just comb it through, brush it through. And now I'll use my Denman brush to really just make those curls super pronounced and just, just mm, you'll see in a second. Nothing cuter than seeing those curls just pop there you go yeah buddy loving what i see so now i'm going to use the heatless um i forget what they're called like pretty much like it's almost like a flexi rod but it's soft like it, this is super comfy to sleep in versus the flexi rods so i'll, I'll link them in, in my amazon description but um here's the process on how i achieve my beautiful curls so start from the top and then you just twirl it around like in a spiral direction just keep twirling it around i apologize if my elbow got in the way of your view but it's just just keep twirling it around twirling it around and then <clears throat> then you just lock the the roller by turning both ends of the roller in whatever direction you need to make sure that it locks in place so you'll see you see i just like turned one side upwards and the other side <clears throat> I turned upwards as well and voila you have one that's already done so I'll go through the second one again um, just to show you guys in the event that the first one wasn't too clear um, since my elbow was clearly in the way um, to show you guys how to go about this after that, I'll speed it up so that way it's like not a super long video with it being redundant on how to do what I'm doing. Okay guys, so here's a better view and again, I'm going to take the, the roller and start at the top. And then you're going to just twirl it around in a spiral direction and just keep doing that just keep doing it and if um what i forgot to do um is if the ends are kind of like fray or like just not laying down you can take the butter gel and use it as a glue to just keep it in place and that will you know make sure that your ends come out super amazing as well and then from there just take the ends of the roller and bring it around to lock it in place so as you can see i'm fighting with it over here my hair is super thick uh my roll my elbow again is in the way but you guys see um saw pretty much how i went about twirling it and i just like took the ends brought them together and now they're locked in place oh now you're seeing it from the other direction i'm so sorry guys i didn't realize that my elbow would be in the way but thankfully you saw how i went about doing the spiral direction and you understand now the ends and how to lock it in place and trust me when i say my hair is always super beautiful when i achieve this um when i do these heat rollers with these products to achieve my curly hairstyles so i'm going to section again and do the same thing on this other side of my head so i'm going to speed up the video now Hey guys, so I was trying to show you guys my scalp because I know I saw on my from like my view how my scalp was like showing a bit of whiteness. Um, but I guess in the like from the camera's point of view, you can't really see it.
hey guys i'm back and now i'm gonna be doing the other side and hopefully this time i will not obstruct your view with my elbow i'm realizing how dark it is so i put my light on like okay now i can see better and now it's the time to section my hair and get the curly technique going so i believe i already applied the oh there's my elbow okay good i put it down <laughs> um but i I'm almost positive at this particular point I already applied the product so I'm just going straight in and twirling it around and you can I'm pretty thankfully in the other side of my head you saw me twirling the hair around but in this view you can see as I'm turning the flexi rod like I'm turning it to one direction and the other side another direction as well to lock it in place I'm hoping that this view was a good view for you guys if you want more detail please let me know in the comment section but here is a better view of me locking it in place and i will continue to do the same thing throughout the rest of my the, like this this side of my head so i'll speed, speed up the video now so that way again it's not too long And that's it everyone, my hair is done. Thank you for watching this video. Oh